Hello my fellow Spudlykinses and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid with Logan Stone. I actually found this weird little bit while I'm trying to escape. But we actually found some more decent loot, so I'm going to grab what I can. Web magazine number one, tactical light. It's a weird part of town where there was loads of zombies and I got past them all and then there doesn't seem to be many at all. But I'm glad that we found it. So I'm just going to quickly grab all of this. As much as I can anyway. Uh, 40, 40 times scope. It sounds like a zombie's found us. Um, hunting card cows. I don't know what that is. Right, we need stuff for gunpowder, don't we? Let's take that. Gunpowder bottle, we need a gunpowder. Gunpowder, gunpowder. Shotgun shells, let's take them. Yeah, we need more gunpowder. Come on. Okay, right, that'll have to do, I think, because I can hear the zombies banging on the door. Right, just go. Get in the APC. Right, and let's head back to the base now. Anyway, that's Raise the Anchor. I think it's finally time we go back home. It's been a long time. I'm hoping the generator's still going. I'm hoping our bear's okay. While I'm waiting, I just thought I'd let you know. Um, this is coming a little while after the update. So Project Onboard is now in stable build 41 multiplayer, which is absolutely amazing. However, Snakes Mod haven't been updated yet. So I can't really update the pack and update, update the game until that happens because otherwise just the the game would break and i wouldn't be able to play so snake is on it he said that basically he's just got a little bit more to do and it'll be done so hopefully it won't be too long hopefully by the time you're probably watching this hopefully it will be updated there we go right we should be able to set off now right here we go land hoy and that's turn now right uh remove the sails find the boat now i don't know how far up the coast we are but at least we're here which is the main thing. We're off the boat. Now, where are we? Oh, we're there. Okay, we're not that far away from the base at all. Oh, good. Thank God. <laughs> right, well, we're back. Excellent stuff. The base hasn't burnt down. It's always a bonus. It's all good. Right, it sounds like the generator ran out of power, which is a massive shame, but... Oh, no, it's still going. Okay, cool. That should mean the bear's still okay. Yeah, look at that. The tide bear is, st is still okay. It's still fine. Excellent. Let's go quickly double check because we need to keep an eye on this because if we leave it running too long without checking it, there is a chance that it could explode if it gets past 50%. Okay, fine. So it's still on 86%. We did it, Barry. We're back. Oh, excellent stuff. And we've got all these metal pipes we can use. We've got all the seeds. Quickly need to check on the farm because I forgot to do that. Oh, I hope the pineapples are still alive. Seed bearing pineapples. Oh, just in time. Look at that. Farm pineapples. Seed bearing peanuts. Oh, oh, it's just in the nick of time. Uh, that pineapple looks like it hasn't fully done. It might have a disease or something. That's fine. Got the potatoes as well. Oh, this is like the best day ever. All right, how many seeds did we get then from them? We got 12 peanuts. That's amazing. Because peanuts are really good for trapping and things. So that's amazing that we can just farm them. But how many seeds do we get from the pineapples? Did we, did we not get any seeds? Okay, seed bearing pineapples apparently don't drop seeds. Okay, so we're going to want to plant them sparingly then. Fine, okay. I'm hoping with this bear that we've got the right magazines to do stuff. Because the extended building, there was a thing for a fur frame. I, d I don't know if that's the thing that we need to skin stuff. I, I don't know. At the very least, we can craft fuel tanks. We can craft the reloading table, finally, which is amazing. Yeah, we, we can craft the cheese table, which is nice. So yeah, we're, uh, we're in a good place right now. We've got a lot of electric base. Where should we put that? Where do you put an electric base? Maybe on the chair there? <laughs> there we go. Right, I need to see if the making irrigation pipes increases our metal work. Because if it does, that's amazing. So we're currently at 516. Uh, that's us make an irrigation pipe. Just the one. Just for now. I don't think it did. But I think we're going to want to make some more irrigation pipes, to be honest. There we go. We've got a lot of irrigation pipes now, which is nice. But we will come back to using them at some point in the near future so we can auto-water our farms, which will be really nice. Okay, and that's read this, uh, read the hunting card for cows. Don't know what this is. What does this do? Oh, that's very cool. Usually seeks food between 8 and 16. That's amazing. So we've got a 5% chance to catch it with a bear trap. Its favorite food is alfalfa. Alfalfa? How do you say it? I think so. Then corn, cereal, and rose hips. Oh, rose hips. We've got, we can get them from foraging, so that's quite good. Okay, but that's, that's, that's nice to know, actually. That's really cool. We do have the toddler rug as well, uh, which I think we're going to have to put on the top floor as just a dance floor. I'm going to put that down actually now before anything else. 
Because we, we need we need dancing. We need we need a dance floor. There we go, we can finally do the YMCA dance on our dance mat. Oh amazing. <laughs> Look at them go. YMCA. Oh brilliant. <laughs> seed book this is the thing that i've been really excited about so let's get this seed book out and we're going to want to find our unknown seeds which we should have quite a few of now here we go unknown seeds grab all those out and we should now just be able to right click identify seeds oh this is exciting a pineapple seed a pumpkin seed a tobacco seed oh this is great so the only thing is that to actually plant them i'm presuming we're gonna have to find 50 of that Oh, we can actually just do normal sunflower seeds. That's cool. Yeah, so we're going to have to actually put them in a packet before we can then actually plant them. But hopefully that won't take too long. We've got some corn seeds as well. That's good. Avocado seeds. Ooh, a special seed. Becomes a fruitful tree. Put a seed in your inventory and right-click it to sow. Oh, so can we just sow it? I presume we need to dig a furrow first. But that's, that's our first fruit tree. So what, that's what we need to do. We need to find like a lime seed or something. At, oh, we actually found one. I'm just saying that. That means, and a lemon seed. That means we can actually do margaritas. Yay. We just need to wait for them to grow and then it's done. Oh, thank God for that. Actually found some lime seeds and we've gone through all of them. Rice seed, sugar cane seeds. Oh, that's cool. Three tobacco seeds. That's amazing. So if we just keep foraging, we can keep finding stuff like this. Oh, I've also got this postcard. Let's inspect it. Oh, that's cool. You can actually see the postcard itself. That that That's amazing. Oh, are you serious? I think we actually already had the ice cream die-cast truck. Oh, for God's sake, I have all the ones we had. Oh, okay. Fine. <laughs> we only had two to begin with, and then we found three collectively of the same die-cast truck, for God's sake. Right then, another glorious day. That's, um, let's go chuck some more gas in this generator before it finally conks out. Uh, add some fuel. Check out the generator info. There's 2% fuel left. Right, so it's going to last quite a long time. Uh, let's add the fuel now. Cool. So it went down 16% basically from 80. So 16% the whole time we've been away. So we can we can afford for us just to leave the gas can for a little bit longer. So let's just see if we can actually sow seeds. Oh, here we go. Sow seeds. Oh, we require multiples. Ah, okay, okay. I gotcha, gotcha. Average time growing, 126 days. Jesus. So that's a, that's a big commitment to growing that. Like a huge commitment. So we're going to want to grow that as soon as possible, really, so that we can actually get a make make a cocktail for the uh, end of the series. Because 126 days is a long time. Yeah, that would be amazing if we can get that. I think, first of all, what we're going to want to do, though, is we're going to want to see if we can make some of these ex extended buildings. So I'm thinking... The reloading table, I'm thinking the cheese table, the fur frame, uh, the fuel tank would be nice as well. So I think we'll get them done. We'll see if we can do anything with them, probably upstairs. And then we'll work on the second floor. I think that's probably a good thing to do. So we need some tree branches, some sheet ropes, some rope. Eight rope. Jesus. And, oh, we need two trapping. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, uh, cheese table, uh, just planks and nails. We can do that. Okay, let's do let's do that first then. Planks and nails. That's uh, that seems fairly straightforward. All right, so I guess it's back to chopping down trees again, once again. All right then, so we now should just be able to do extended building resources. A cheese table, maybe here. There we go, cheese table. All right, so what can we actually do with cheese table then? Uh, it does not say what we can do with you. Well, I'm sure it's just a case of putting cheese down, but the fact that we've got that is quite cool. Okay, so we've got cheese. So that's cheese preparation. We need four out of five. So we need... Uh, we can do processed cheese. Right, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so... It looks like we want to just make cheese, which we can do. I think we've got a normal cheese mold. We can just do that. We could make some processed cheese. We've got the cooking for that. Or is that just a waste? I'm just, I'm just worried that's a waste of stuff, whereas we can make normal cheese and that would be... No, we'll see. Well, we can, we can always come back to it another time. Right, okay, and then we need to make... What's the other thing we need to make? Our extended building resource reloading table. Here we go. So we need some more planks, some screws, small metal sheets, and the reloading tool. Fine, we should have all of that. We've actually got all the stuff to make the reloading table, so let's have a think where this can go. Have it under the stair. Oh, it's a it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. We could we could just have it in here. This could be I mean we got it as a storage room, but we could just have it there. Reloading table like this. I think that'd be good there. There we go. Right, and then we can reloading table. Here we go. 
Study and put into practice the basic concepts of operating the re reloading table. Uh, so our reloading ammo is going up? Oh, look at that. We can just research it for a long time. There we go. Right, we're level one. Oh, okay. Oh, awesome. Right, so now we're level one. Right, we can disassemble all the guns. Oh, we should have kept those guns that we found then. We could have disassembled them. But we needed reloading ammo level two or three for most of them anyway. The only ones we can do is M9. Uh, disassemble ammunition? Right, okay, we do have some spare ammunition in here because I, I grabbed some earlier. Let's test that out. Here you go, right, we've got a box of 38 rounds. So disassemble ammunition. Let's open it up. Disassemble. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. We're getting the cases, getting the gunpowder. We're getting some lead cal. This is cool. And then can we just use that to make the bullets again? No, we need to be level three to actually make it. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, it's a shame that we literally with one of the recipes we're missing is the nine mil. Can we make the 308s? We can make the 308s, but we need to be level four. Right, at least we've got, actually got the recipe for that. It's a shame we don't have the recipe for the 9mm, because that's the one, that's the main one we would be using. But that's quite cool. Okay, let's see if we can actually m melt some metal. That like Because we've got all this lead. Craft helper. Make liquid lead. Ammunition magazine level 3. Oh, okay, so we're missing the crucial one that we need to actually melt down the lead. Fine, okay, so that's uh, once again <laughs> an another magazine that we're missing. But it's quite cool that we can actually disassemble some of these bullets now that we don't actually need. So we're going to be wanting to do that going forward just to get this skill up. Once we get to level 2, level 3, we can start actually making stuff. Making ammo, and that'll be amazing. Uh, being able to make our own bullets would be absolutely incredible. So, yeah, really happy about that. Now, the next step, what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to make uh, a fuel tank, I guess. Yeah, a fuel tank would be good. So we need propane, welding rods... We should have all that. Right, let's just grab all of that. Oh, we do actually have some spare M9s. We've got a couple of spare M9s, actually. Um, let's test out taking it apart, then. It requires it not being favorited. It requires not having any attachments or charger. It requires no ammunition in the chamber. There we go. Right, so, yeah, we need to reject the magazine as well. That's the reason. So let's try doing that. So it's currently 22.5. What does this give us once we've done that? 24, so we got barely anything. What do we get? We got M9 parts. Okay, can be used for fixing tools. So assemble M9. We need five of them to create an M9. Okay, so if we've got any, like, broken ones or whatever, we can then just use that for that. That's quite cool. Right, okay, and we could technically disassemble some uh, more ammunition as well, I guess. How much does it get for disassembling one? So we're currently at 24. Okay, so each one seems to actually do quite a lot. That's, um, let's just assemble the rest. Yeah, so at 35.25, so we've gone up quite a lot. So we're, we're just going to want to keep doing that. Once we get to level, was it level two we needed? We need to get level four to do that. It's going to be a while till we get there, but it's fine. We can just keep doing that as and when we find guns and things like that. So it's not partic a particular problem. So what we're going to want to do now is basically just make that fuel tank and then chuck all the gas in that fuel tank. And that frees up a lot of our... Well, it frees up all of our, our gas cans. Then we can just keep going when we go to... We don't need to have them sat there. We can just use the fuel tank to contain all the stuff. So that's good. Right, ironically, the only thing we're actually missing is two scrap metal. So I think I'm just going to take the metal detector and we're going to go out and see if we can find a couple more. And now we've got the option for dyes now, which is cool. So let's see if we can find some dyes as well. That'd be nice. Right, here we go. So we've got mustard seed, we've got red rose used to make dyes. Awesome. We've got this more rusted sheets and stuff, so let's chuck all that away. We've got three unknown seeds, so we're going to want to keep finding them as much as possible. Another lead pipe. Destroy lead pipe, and that gets our metal working up a bit. Right, lily of the valley? And we used to craft dyes. Make white dye. Okay, cool. And the blue orchid, we can use to make blue stuff. That's nice. Right, we've got five scrap metal. We should now have everything we need to actually make the container. Uh, let's have a quick look. Yeah, we can. Right, let's go to bed, and then we'll make that in the morning. I'm such an idiot. We actually got a pillow, and I haven't put it on the bed. Stupid me. Right, now we can lie down and go to sleep with a nice, comfy pillow. Only Logan likes to sleep with the pillow over his head. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Anyway, so panicked I would be if the pillow was over my head. So where should we keep the tank? I don't really want to have it on up here, just in case we decide to move stuff around. So I think maybe just outside... Might be quite nice. Might be quite handy. Maybe here. I think that might be quite a good good plan. Uh, craft fuel tank. 
good place as any. Hopefully this increases our metal working skill a little bit. A little bit. Excellent. Right, so what can we do with this? Fuel tank. You can't take any fuel. You can store it, though. Total capacity, 120. Don't know what that means. Does that mean 120 cans of gas worth? I've got no idea. We, we will see. We'll tack grab all of them and see what it does. Right, so fuel tank. Uh, store fuel. Let's have a look. You can take fuel. It's at 6%. Okay, so each one looks like it increased it by about 6%. That's a decent amount. There we go. So, right, we've filled it up. How much do we have? Right, so basically, is it six cans of gas is 40%? Well, it's probably it's probably 12 cans of gas it can hold. That's really, really cool. Now we can do that, and if we want to take it, we can just take it. Right, that's awesome. I really like that. 12 cans of gas worth in that is uh, is incredible. And I think what you can do is you can actually make more, and you can stack them on top of each other. So that's just amazing and 12 cans of gas should last us a long time so if one can of gas lasts us about roughly 10 days it, it, it's, it's, it's a long time it's a long long time so i'm hoping after we've done one more trip to the mainland we can fill that up completely and then we should be set for winter basically and that's when we're going to need our freezer so i think it's good i think we're all good i want to see what we can do with this bear now that we've we've got everything so let's try and take the bear out of this and we'll see once it's thawed whether there's anything we can do we've got the slapper knife and it looks like we can butcher a few different things so we can actually butcher chickens now if we get it which is nice uh bear treatment so we need to make bear rug need the bear head and bear skin sharpen slapper knife i don't really know what that does okay maybe we'll try that let's get a stone and we'll try just doing a sharpen slapper knife See what that does by actually doing foraging and not selecting anything else apart from seeds you can get a lot of them so i just got 18 that's incredible let's try do sharpening the slapper knife and see what happens it doesn't look like i can do it i'm wondering whether that just increases the condition if so that's very very cool let's untie the bear chop dead bear that wasn't a thing before oh <gasps> i think we can do it oh my god look at that jesus bad oh god Best. Oh my god, we can do it. Hang on, I, I have to do this outside. Just because this is just, this is too good to not show fully on camera. Look at this. Look how amazing this is. We're chopping it up. We're getting all sorts of stuff from it. Bear steaks. Oh my god, this is amazing. So much food, so much meat. We've got a bear head. That is incredible. I'm, I'm so happy right now. We can make a wall decoration out of the bear head. Oh my god. And that is heavy as anything. Uh, we're going to have to leave that outside for a minute. Uh, animal tendon. Very elastic. Right, okay. It doesn't look like it's going to go off anytime soon, so let's just chuck that away. We've got all this. Bad steak. I don't know what bad... I don't know how what that translates as. I really don't know what that what that translates as. It does, it, does that mean it's going to make me ill if I cook it and eat it? Right, I really should have taken it outside to dismember it before anything else. Now I'm going to have to clean this floor up. That's annoying. Oh, well. But well, I'm so happy. We've got a bear head. So what can we do with this? We can make a bear rug. Okay, we just need the bear skin. But we could also make a trophy because I believe with our extended buildings, decorative bear, we just need some nails. We can display our, well, our magnificent trophy of a bear that we got. Where, where can we possibly put it that will uh, we'll show it off in all its glory? Maybe in, the, maybe in here. Uh, here we go. Extended buildings, decorative hunting trophies, bear. Here we go. We can actually do it. It's a little bit morbid. I still think it's cool. There we go. We've got our first bear trophy. Oh, I'm so happy right now. That's amazing. Right, and then I think the next bear that we'll get will make it into a nice bear rug. I think that's that'll be incredible. Right, before anything else, though, let's chuck all our bear steaks away. The fact we've got them is amazing. I'm, I'm worried these are going to make me ill if I eat them. I'll, I might try and translate that off camera, see what it says. If any of you know Spanish, just let me know what that means. That'd be really good to know. All right, it's time to start the day once again. Let's do some hunting this time. We've got our gun on us. Now that we can actually butcher stuff, I think it's going to be a lot more fun. There. Oh, animal hurt, but it escaped. Animal hurt has escaped. Right, 
and will her escaped how oh escaped there damn not having much luck we keep hitting these bears and not actually doing anything Ooh. <gasps> we shot a boar i think that's a boar wild pig how heavy is it 55 uh okay right we'll go get the slapper knife We'll go get the uh, we'll go get the t rope ties and we'll see what we can do. Okay, we got this pig. That's uh, let's chop it up. Oh look at that! Getting some tasty meats from it. Oh, I got pork chop for days. Oh, so we got some intestines or something. Oh Christ! Okay, got more animal tendons. I need to look what we can do with animal tendons. Oh, I don't know what that is. Right. Okay, so we got pork chops. Yes, we got bad boar chop. Again, not sure what that is. Craft helper. Tendrized pork meat. Oh, okay. Wooden mallet. I think we got the wooden mallet, don't we? And we can use these to make slingshots. Ah, I knew that we yeah, were used for something. We got a boar head. Hog casings. Make sausages. Oh, we don't have a sausage maker. This is really frustrating. Okay, do they go off? They do go off. Okay, well, I might just have to cook them without making sausages, which is a shame. Oh, and Logan is covered in blood. We're going to have to wash yourself off. But yeah, we've got pork chops. We've got bag pork chops, but we can tenderize them, make them decent. Maybe that's what we can do with the bear as well. I didn't actually check. I should have done. Let's have a little look. Can we do anything? So, yes, yeah, so we can't tenderize this. Oh, we need a Le Gourmet magazine to do that. Oh, that's annoying. I didn't even notice that. Fine. Okay. But I think you know what time it is. I think it's time for Chef Logan Stone once again. Right, boys and girls, it's time once again for another episode with Chef Logan Stone with his little cooking show. So, right, first of all, we've got our bear steaks. We've got our frying pan. Well, I think what we should do, first of all, is we should make a nice, tasty stir-fry, don't you? So, what we're going to do is we're going to make it from some random meat. There we go. We've got a tasty, tasty pork chop stir-fry. What we're going to do now is we're going to add some... Uh, what should we add? We'll add some salt as a spice. We'll also add some... Uh, what should we do? Some hog casings. There we go. Lovely stuff. Let's add some potato. Tastiness. Let's add some dry ramen noodles to our stir fry. There we go. Lovely stuff. And I think as a creme de la creme, we should add the fresh egg that we've got. There we go. Right. Amazing. Let's chuck that on there. We'll turn on the stove and let's just watch it cook. Barry, of course, is next to the cookies. Barry, get out of the cookies. You're not meant to eat them. You'll spoil them. There we go. Right, we got our bowls ready. Everything is set. We've got fresh uncooked so far. It is cooking slowly. We will cook the bear steaks just to make sure. We'll also cook the hog casings as well. And the other pork chops. Just so that they're ready. I probably should have cooked the pork chop and the pork casings before putting it in because that would have increased our cooking a little bit. But oh well. Speaking of which, I probably should be reading the cooking book before I do any of this, because otherwise our skill will be wasted. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, put out the fire. We'll quickly read the cooking book. Nothing happened. You didn't You didn't see anything. Right, nothing happened. Nothing happened. We didn't read a book and go to sleep. Everything is fine. It's what it was. So here we go. We've got our stir fry cooking up. Everything is fine. Everything is dandy. Right, our stir fry is cooked. Quickly eat it. Straight out the frying pan, because we can't put it in bowls for some reason. There we go. Right. Back to what we were doing. Uh, let's grab the bear steaks. We've got the fresh cooked pork chop as well. And the hog casings are just about to be done. Huzzah, there we go. Right. Huzzah, here we go. Right. And now we can probably make another stir fry. Make it from pork chop fresh. Oh, salt as a spice, first of all. Make it from some potato. Make it from some pepper. Some hog casings. And sadly, we can't add any more noodles because we're out of noodles. So I guess it's back to some more pork chop. And some more potato. And some more hot casing. There we go. Right. Back in you go. Right, we'll chuck the rest of the pork chops away. Unhappiness plus 17 for bear steak. Why is it... Why is it plus 17 for bear steak? Eat the bear steak. Tasty tastiness. What's wrong with eating a, a tasty bear steak? I don't know. No idea. But we are a little bit unhappy. That's fine. Right, and there we go. Grab the pork chop stir fry tasty tastiness let's just eat this tasty tasty stir fryness oh just down in one logan down in one. Oh, tasty tasty and now our weight should be skyrocketing up it's still going down why is it going down we just eat like half a bear i don't know why it's still going down uh eat some ice cream there we go now our weight's going up <laughs> nothing happened it was all fine right we should probably cook this stuff up as well actually because i don't really know what we do with it but 
I don't know if it's edible, but worst comes to worst, even cooking it gives us some experience. As well, there we go. Right. It gives us lots of unhappiness for eating this. I don't know whether that's because it, it will make you ill or what the case is, or whether it's just like really, really fatty or something. I'm not sure. What we'll do is we'll chuck these away in the freezer. Right, what has that left our skill at in terms of cooking? We went up a lot of cooking then. We were basically only just at level four. We went up, well, over a third of the way. That's incredible. Right, well, that was the that was the Logan Stone cooking show. Hooray! <laughs> uh, we've got this boar head now, which I think would be quite good to uh, display that as well, now that we've got it. So we should be able to do the boar. We just need some nails. I apologise if you can hear any, like, strimming or something in the background. Uh, someone's decided that they need to strim at this particular time, which is which is a shame. Right, that's, uh, let's pick up this painting, because I think it's time for the boar to be placed here. Right, here we go. Right, extended building, decorations, boar head. There you go, let's pop that on. Huzzah, there we go. And this is kind of the reason why I haven't been picking up the the deer decorations that you've seen before, because I want to actually hunt my own. I don't want to just take anyone else's. I want to, I want to get my own. I don't want to just take some random person from the gun shop. We will have a collection of uh, of all our trophies on the wall at some point. Don't you worry. All right, before the end of the episode, I'll just forage up some more unknown seeds. If you just do this, you just seem to just get unknown seeds and mustard seeds, which is quite cool. So we now have 36 unknown seeds. Uh, that's amazing. So we'll get our seed book out. And that's identify all these seeds. Oh my god, look at all this. Right, we've got apple seeds. That's amazing. We've got another avocado seed. Four banana seeds. Okay, we'll probably be growing bananas before anything else. We've got bean, we've got bell pepper, broccoli, cabbage, cherry, chili, coffee. We've got coffee seeds. Got another corn. Got a couple more lemon. We've got another lime. That's amazing. Onion, an orange, peach. Oh, this is amazing. I love this so much. Look at all of this. Some more sugarcane ones. Zucchini. This is incredible. So I'm probably going to do a lot of this off camera because I want to get all these seeds. Interesting doing the sugarcane as well because that offers a way of basically getting unlimited amounts of sugar. That's something else that I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into. Getting fully self-sufficient, really. Right, I think after all of that, Logan just deserves to uh, have a nice drink of his lemon beer. Oh, good old drink. With Barry there. I think I'm going to call it a day there, guys. It's been an interesting episode. I'm, I'm hoping you've enjoyed it. I have. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. You can see our nice little bear trophy and our boar trophy. Really getting stuck into the hunting world. We're really getting stuck into everything now. Next episode, now that I'm here, I know I said I was going to work on the house this episode. I apologize. I got carried away with everything else. Next episode, I will definitely be working on the house. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy, guys. I'm, I'm really happy. We've come a really long way. I think we're really close to self-sufficiency right now. Now that we can hunt, we can nearly make our own ammo, especially the ones that we actually need to hunt. We're, we're doing well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like with Sim, please leave a like and subscribe. Massive thanks to all my Patreons, Seth, Pet, Overlord, Seraph, Drew, Clint, David, Aaron, Dale, Mikhail, Emma, DeBlog, Rai, Kalara, Daniel, Len, Morph, AJ, Andrew, and Mitch. Thank you so much, guys. I, I can't thank you guys enough. You just make my day every day, so just thank you. So yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.